fifth time I've been trying to do this video so I think I got it done the reason for this video is the last time I posted a video was about installing blender cam which is for CNC operating and g-code production I thought it was all installed all perfect and fine but it ended up being that open cam lib was not installed so let's go about getting that installed if you've run into the same problem and get stuck um, follow along. So I'm going to open up the main Blender Cam file, which is a standalone version of Blender. We're not going to open up our standard Blender that we keep upgrading and putting add-ons in and all that. You want a Cam version of Blender on your computer. Wherever you installed Blender with Blender Cam from the last video, navigate to that area and you should have this folder and then the folder will have blender and then this is the link from this blender cam folder blender with blender cam folder open that blender executable that should open up your version of cam software this is 3.4 and it has Blender Cam installed as you can see on the side here. This is here. Go up to the render engine and change it to Cam. And then look right here. It says Cam Info and Warnings. Open Cam Lib is not installed. So we need to install that. Well, it says that it would install on just by doing blender cam install but it didn't work for me and it has never worked for me so what I did I went back to the blender cam installation at github and started scrolling down and we did all this right and then we get down to the bottom and it says open cam live and I just kind of spaced it out in the last video and I'm sorry about that I'm sorry anyway here I am fixing it Open Cam Lib is an open source cam library created by Anders Wallen. It offers high quality waterline generation and drop cutter sampling algorithms. For drop cutter algorithms, it's more reliable than bullet physics and so on. It's automatically installed when you install Blender Cam. I didn't find that to be true. So, if that's not true, then I'm going to go right click on the link and open in a new tab. Go to Open Cam Lib Main Scene uh, on GitHub. And then we're going to scroll down. Now, I tried this pip install, pip3 install. I tried this one. What did work is this right here where it on my screen it's import sys and import is in red what we need to do is this in blender widen your screen so that you can see the scripting viewport this is a console where you can type stuff in like a command prompt because it is a command prompt go back to open cam live Scroll down until you see the import. It's the fourth, one, two, three, fourth snippet you can copy. Copy it. Go back to your scripting. Go to Window, Toggle System Console. Put that console where you can see it. And I'm going to do it like this. In the console, this is the console 
uh, main window. We're not going to use that. We're just going to do it here. This is where I had a success. So I right, I, I click in here, right click, paste, and it has this line of code that I copied from the website, and then I hit enter. And I wait. And I wait. And you'll see in this console, it did some things. Uh, I believe this is already downloaded because I've been trying to download it. But anyway, it's installing collective packages, OpenCam Lib, successfully installed OpenCam Lib 23.1.11. And it's saying I can upgrade PIP. I don't care about that. I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to go here, layout, and cam is still there. We're cam. Oh, open cam live is installed. Yay! Shake your fingers. Shake your fingers. It's like it's my birthday. <laughs> it actually is my birthday. Um, I am... 52 robot years old today. 52. Jeez. So now we have OpenCam Live installed. We can create some things. And I look forward to doing that with you in a future video. Yay! But let me do one thing to get you set up a little bit further. Go here, X. Go here, X. Go here, X. Brand new spanking everything. Now, go up to File, Defaults, Save Startup File. Save Startup File. Save. We're going to do that one more time because we're going to go over here to the Scene Properties tab and we're going to go down to Units and we're going to change this to Imperial and we're going to change this to Inchaz. In in mm -hmm. And then we're going to go we're going to go here. If you float over a thing and hit A, you can close them real quick. Oh, machine, G code. Let's just get a machine up and running. I'll show you what it does in the viewport. So, oh, down it. Okay, so go down here to machine. We've got this set up. Uh, my work area is 118 by 52 by 3. Um, that's feet. So go, if, if you're having this issue where it's defaulting to feet, go back to here, which is the scene properties and change this to inches again and then go to render properties go back to machine and it should be changed to inches so this should be 52 for me because it's 52 inches on the y-axis and then three inches I really have six so but I'm gonna do three so this now is a representation of the bed that I can cut uh, on. So now you can add in some thing that you want to cut. So in layout mode, same thing happens, applies, shift A. Let's do a plane. We just want to we just want to cut a plane. Uh, the profile of it. You know, I'm, this is real simple here. 
So I'm going to hit grab x, grab y. I'm, I put it on the sheet, and it's at the top of the sheet, which is fine. You know, it's just the shape I want to cut. So I highlight that, and then I go over to add an operation. So do I add this? Yeah. So I added an operation. It's called op plane silhouette. And it's that object, I guess. Hide all others, whatever. Material size, I don't know. Operation setup, three axis profile. Optimization, I don't know. Option area, I don't know. Cam movement, climb down milling, yeah, sure, fine. Uh, Conventional is probably what a lot of us would use because we don't have really rigid, expensive machines, but maybe you do. Um, conventional helps with that. Uh, and then you'd be like clockwise, free movement, first down rampant, stay low if possible, retract vertical, Cam feed rate, my feed rate's like 500 inches per minute. Yours is probably less. Plunge angle, spindle RPM 18,000. Cam cutter. So here, let's just pick on it. Uh, ball end. I'm guessing those are end mills, 10 millimeter end mill. Tool number cutter. And oh, it's a type of cutter end mill yeah fine diameter is 10 millimeter 3.39370 tool description you can add that in how many flutes cam machine split files operations so I'm going through output G 43 on tool change, uh, collet size, that's a weird number, 0.5. Uh, output block numbers, price per hour. Pack. Okay, now that I have all this stuff set, I am going to go to here and click on Calculate Path and Export G-Code. Let's see where it exported to. If, if it's, is, is it there, is it, is it there? Okay, oh, open, a, op, open and then go to where your Blender installation is installed. Blender 340 with Blender Cam, Blender 340, and look, what uh let's go back here op plane silhouette one uh, <gasps> <laughs> there's a file i don't know how it got to this location it must just dump it in whatever but there's a file and it's notepad it's a tap file which is mach 3. i'm going to right click Open with notepad, whatever. <gasps> Dude. <laughs>
Okay, this looks like complete garbage, but not complete garbage. Now we have a pathway to exporting code and we can figure out all the rest of it. So, oh, I didn't tell it to go down. Okay, okay. All right, bear with me, bear with me. Uh, let's see. Operation setup, cam movement, plunge angle, plunge cart, uh, tool, flutes, G code option, output header. Oh, you could put your header in here. I'll put G code trailer, dust collector, hold down mist, machine. You can pick a machine. Imperial, use definitions, call it size. Uh, I think there's a down to like depth. Am I missing it? If I'm staring this hard at this, I need to do this. Use position definitions imperial. Cutter. Ah, depth from object. This is cam operation area. Operation depth start. Operation depth end. Should we try negative 0.75? Negative 0.75. Depth from material, depth from object. Okay. So we put that, and now we're going to calculate path and export G code. Mm. Can I change? So I clicked that again. We're going to go back here. 10, 12, yeah, it re. Uh, that didn't seem to change anything. Operation one one. Oh. Operation one one. Object plane silhouette. Material size. Estimate model radius around model Z placement cam operation setup not fully working lead in lead out who cares plunge in and kill it. Lead out, enable A, B. Outlines count. Huh. Distance between tool paths. Direction inside out, outside in. Don't merge outlines when cutting. Use bridges, that's uh, tabs. Cam optimization. Hmm. 
turn off use layers. Let's change this to 0.75 tab. Operation depth end. That's weird. Then we go up here, calculate path and export G code. Did it do it? Seems like it got... Oh! <gasps> what? Look at that! <laughs> okay, okay, before I do anything, I'm gonna go back over here, and there it is. 17 kilobytes, that looks a lot better. Open. I don't, I, I mean, I can read that if I get have a little bit of time, but right now, so like right now, Z levels. But the point is with these settings, now I can go in and see how to set it. Like is, is it saying that it's gonna go down to negative seven five if I put in a positive seven five? Some systems do that. Um, if, am I gonna go, It does it have to be a negative? Uh, will it pick up the bottom of pockets? All that jazz. Now I've got something to work with. That was me howling. Look at all this code. Look at all that code. Look at all that code. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> okay, go make stuff.